Hey everybody, it's Adam Webb and I'm going to give you a little bit of backstory and on some inspiration for I'm Free. So, um, it kind of has a cool story. I was at church in May this last year at uh, Cape Verge, which is now Discovery Life Church. And Pastor Chad was uh, preaching a sermon on broken yet blessed. And um, there's a picture on the in the background that reminded me of my favorite chapter, Psalms 1. And in the sermon, he was talking about Jacob wrestling with the angel. And he didn't let go until he was blessed. And it kind of inspired me to go home that day and be like, you know what? I need a song. I want to write a song. What is we going to do? Our Christian debut song. And I sat in my bedroom. I came home and I was like, you know what, God? I'm going to sit in this room until you bless me with a song. So it was kind of my wrestling song, I guess. And uh, freedom came to mind. It's something that you get through Christ. I mean, yes, we live in a free country, but there's no greater freedom that you can get through Jesus. So backed it up a little bit spiritually. Um, inspiration came in a church service. So um, that church service was a really good service that day. and I'll never forget it. So it inspired me to go home and write this song. And some of the scriptures came to mind. Uh, John 8. 32 says, And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. That's red letters. That's straight from Jesus, and Jesus is the truth. Um, there's no better truth and freedom through Jesus. Uh, 836 says, If the Son therefore shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. And Galatians 5 1 says, Stand fast there in the liberty wherewith Christ hath made us free, and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage and one more for you second chronicles 3 17 says now the lord is that spirit and the spirit is the lord there is liberty so liberty is freedom so i took that idea of freedom because there's no greater feeling than the freedom that you get with christ and uh if you haven't had that freedom um it's it doesn't get any better than that but i kind of tied it in with Psalms 1 for the second verse of the song because that picture inspired me that day. And my favorite chapter in the Bible is Psalms 1 since I was a little kid. I don't know why. I think I know why now because it's just so plain and simple. It's only six verses. It says, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and his law doth meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaves shall also not wither, and whatsoever he do shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but are like the chafe which the wind driveth away. Therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the day of judgment, nor the sinners of the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. So basically, plant your seed by the river of life of God, and you will prosper. So, um... God gives you life and the river of life. Plant, I want to plant my tree there, plant my seed there, and watch it grow. But that kind of all intertwined the backstory to the song. And I want it to be fun. I grew up in the Holler Church where it was like revival days. And um, I call it like a Holler Church jammer style from back in the day growing up. But um, I hope it inspires you to get a little taste of the freedom that you get and the feeling that like... There's no greater feeling when you first become a Christian and the closer you get to God and the freedom that Christ gives you internally. It's just, I mean, you don't understand it until you feel it. So I hope this gives you a little taste of it if you haven't already felt it. But I'm real excited about it. I hope you guys like it. Um, I'll do another video next week talking about some cool like God moments that happened while recording this song and some ways it's being used already. So I'm real excited. And one of the inspirations as I wrote this song was my father who passed away in 2020. Uh, he knew Christ and he was given a diagnosis of stage 4 brain cancer, glioblastoma. But he was happy till the day he died. And there was one main factor in that. He had Jesus. So even though he had a death sentence here on earth, he lived his life free, and uh, he was not in bondage to that death sentence. So, I hope you enjoy I'm Free. It comes out 3 3 23. Watch for a video next week talking about some cool God moments, and I'll keep you all updated. Thanks.